Hey guys, I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I've uh, been a bit busy with uh, new jobs and stuff, but uh, I know a lot of people are requesting the um, traffic tutorial, so I'll try to get to that in my <coughs> spare time. Excuse me. So uh, I've just loaded up um, Cinti Studio City uh, Polygon City. Uh, it's just twenty bucks if you want to follow along using this, but uh, you can use the uh, default template for vehicles as well, which we'll add right now to this package. So just go to Add New, Add Feature Content Pack, and uh, Vehicle. That'll add the vehicle template. And uh, so now we can uh, go to our sedan right here, vehicle BP sedan. And we'll just, uh, actually we'll make a new folder called blueprints. Make a new folder in there called vehicles. And we'll drag the sedan into that new folder. We're also gonna rename this BP base vehicle. And we'll go to our world settings. If you don't have world settings, you can go to window, world settings. And we'll change the game mode to vehicle game mode. And the vehicle to base vehicle is fine. Now we're going to right click this and create a child blueprint. And we'll call it BP VE Police. Because we're going to make a uh, police vehicle that we can drive. So we'll load this up. And we'll type SK Police. Nope. Car Police. All right compile and save and uh, I haven't thoroughly tested this so uh, we'll have to follow along with the issues that come up we'll just change this to police so I think it's gonna go nuts by default e yep more or less going nuts kind of okay so uh, first we'll look at the physics asset and uh, we'll see here physics asset actually looks okay so uh, it's probably the wheels that we need to set up. So go to the vehicle movement, engine setup. No, sorry, uh, it just said wheels. I don't know why I went to engine. Okay, so we have the wheels here. So we're just gonna copy the names. So we have uh, wheel FL for front left. So we'll just do this. Wheel FR, wheel RL, wheel, RR, compile, save. <clears throat> now let's see if this works. All right, so we're already driving a vehicle, which was pretty quick. Okay, but uh, what we really want is the traffic system. So we're gonna have to set up a controller and stuff for that. So what we'll do is we'll make a new folder and we'll call it controllers. We'll make a new blueprint class and we're going to make it an AI controller. We're going to call it AI con driver, I guess. And we're going to go to our base vehicle and we're going to set our AI, our AI controller class to AI con driver and set it to place in world or spawned. Doesn't really matter, but just we don't have to deal with that later. So now uh, vehicles will be spawned with the AI controller if there's no player controller. So we'll just uh, drag one into the world so we can watch him. And uh, just spawn here, right? Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of all these other vehicles. So get rid of all of these static meshes. So we don't want to be distracted by them. Where did our player start go? We don't have a player start, so just put a player start in the world. Spawn next to our car. All right. Okay, so that's. Uh, I'll wrap up part one here, just so we have um, a video where you can get a drivable car. But in the next video, we'll use the AI controller to make it so that the AI drives around, and we'll uh, we'll get that going. So uh, thanks for watching part one, and I'll see you in part two.